back. My next guest is a beautiful young actress. She stars on uh, The War at Home, which is on Thursdays on Fox. <laughs> Take a look at this. I know what you're doing. You're just trying to get me to go to college. Well, guess what? I'm not going to go. Sweetie, is it at all possible uh, that maybe you're trying to, to find a way not to apply to college because deep down you're afraid you might not get into a good college? No, I, yeah, I don't care what you think. I'm going to be a singer. In fact, when I win my first Grammy, I already have my speech prepared. Yeah? What's that? This is for my parents. To shut <laughs> Kaylee DeFer, everybody. Oh, Kaylee, Kaylee, Kaylee. <laughs> you look lovely. You look so demure and lovely Aww. and ladylike. You don't talk like that in your real life, do you? Absolutely. Really? Let me show you. Really? I, I, you seem very kind of... I mean, how are your parents about you playing such a... Well, that's funny because my mom, right before I went up, she goes, now, Kaylee, please watch your mouth. Oh, really? <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Wait, what, here? No, yeah, about the show tonight. No, that wasn't your mom. That's a CBS no. censor. They follow me around exactly the same thing all the time. Watch your mouth. I know. She yeah. kind of looked like my mom's face. Yeah. Are you having a nice time on that show, The War at Home? Michael Rappaport's on that. He's all right. Yeah, he's him. I mean, yeah. No, he's, he's great. He's all right. That no, I got, I got, he, he was w w outside kind of pacing around saying, no, you'll be nice to Kaylee. Seth MacFarlane <laughs> called me last night from Family Guy. He said, no, be nice to... It's weird talking to Seth MacFarlane on the phone. I know. It's like Brian the dog. The dog, I know, right? I, I know. And he calls you up and you go, it's Brian, what? It's weird. Yeah, he called me last night and said, i got to be nice to you. And then you met my buddy Lenny at uh, the weekend, is that right? Yeah, I met Lenny this weekend. And yeah. it's who just nobody so knows funny. at all. Yeah, about, yeah. Lenny, Lenny um, for those of you who don't know him, he's actually, he's a hypnotist, right? And so he, he told you? Yeah, he yeah, told yeah, me yeah, he's yeah. a hypnotist. <laughs> okay. And so I let him, you know, I let him um, hypnotize me because I've been feeling a little stressed. And You let Lenny hypnotize I you? I let Lenny hypnotize me and I woke up and I'm madly in love with him now it's amazing <laughs> and I think we're gonna get married very soon really? and yeah you, you gotta be very careful <laughs> Now, I, I don't you know. I've got to tell you, all of my friends are jerks, and Lenny is one of them. <laughs> right. Uh, so you got to be very careful. He's sitting right up there I've at the been... back. I see him right there. Yeah. You got to <laughs> yeah, you gotta show Lenny up there. See that, Lenny? Yeah, that's that's Hi, Lenny sweetheart. right up there. Yeah. How are you doing, Lenny? What? <laughs> Hey, stop following this young girl around. He never comes to this show. He doesn't. No, no. Ah, well, that's my love right there, you know, I mean, Yeah, come on. well, <laughs> frankly, I think you can do better. Now, what about the, uh, what about the Hollywood, are you, you're not from around here, are you? No, from... no, I'm from Tucson, Arizona. Oh, nice. nice. Yeah, yeah. And uh, when did you come here? About four years ago, actually. Is it a big difference? I've never been to Tucson. Is it very like Hollywood? It's, it's quite opposite of what Hollywood. Happens? What do you do out in Tucson? What's the um, recreation? It's funny. You know, I, I call my friends, and, you know, they're off in college now. And I ask them, you know, what, what, am, I, what am I missing out on out, out in Tucson? And, and every weekend they, they tell me just a lot of partying and drinking and, you Doesn't know, craziness. Yeah. yeah, and then, you know, four years later I call them up, and it's the same thing over and over and over again. So... I mean, you know, they're doing their thing out yeah. there, but I'm, uh... You do, don't you get involved in the Hollywood partying and craziness? Haven't you been... Uh, have you got a tattoo yet or anything? I do. You I do, do have a tattoo? I do have a tattoo. You do not. I do, and I heard that you got one this weekend, Recently, yeah, it's right? kind of scratchy. Did yours get scratchy? It did, you know, and it takes a while to heal All as right. well. Okay. And I unfortunately got it in a position right here on my rib cage. And I walked in and I was like, okay, so this is where I want it because it's easy to cover and not very many people will see it. Right. And, and she, goes, she goes, all right, great. So you've had a tattoo done before? And I go, no. She goes, you're ridiculously ballsy to get a tattoo on your ribs yeah, for your first one. Yeah, it would one. really hurt. It was very painful. Yeah, well, it'll stop you getting another one, though, so that's not a bad idea. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Now I know not to, you know, to stay away you, from bones Can I ask you what it is, or is it personal? No, no, yeah. Um, it's actually a quote by Mother Teresa. It's one of her prayers for yeah. the orphanage. And, you know, it's just something that I've, I've kept close to my heart. Okay, are you I able to read it from there? Um, yeah. <laughs> You no, could maybe just like put it on your you know, refrigerator, exactly. then you're gonna see it right away. It's like, what is that again? I, I you know, I have I have a difficulty seeing it. I kind of you know yeah, have yeah, to yeah. twist a bit, but that's the point. So, and you know, I saw the the clip of you in the Playboy Bunny outfit. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. Beautiful. Thank Absolutely. you. I, I, you know what? I work out. And the tattoo. You know, it looks like it's healing nicely. Yeah, yeah, it's doing okay. It's kind of uh, festering well, I think. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and then, you know, it's funny because there was a clip of um, Danny Bonaducci, right? Right after? Yeah, uh, Prince Harry. Yeah. Oh, oh mm -hmm. okay, Prince right. Harry. And um, he has the same one as you, it looks like. Danny Bonaducci <laughs> has my name tattooed on his ass. Does he really? Yeah, that's true. Really? Really, really. I did him a favor once and then uh, as payment, I'm so thrilled. He got my name tattooed <laughs> on his ass. That is just so fortunate. Isn't it and beautiful? I know. It is a beautiful thing. <laughs> it is. Listen, we're completely out of time. Thank you so much for coming Thank in. You. You're it's lovely a on pleasure. the show, and, you, and it's lovely that you came to visit. Please come back. Thank you. Absolutely. Kelly Defer, everybody. We gotta go. Thank you.